Hi. I know it's been a really long time and I have been thinking about putting up a video many times now but what usually ends up happening is I get lazy where I just don't feel like pulling out the camera and recording. I have to sit down and talk, make time for it, set it up, whatever, and then I have to also edit the videos as well. So it's been a while. So I'm gonna try my best to maintain eye contact with the lens, but I will say that I'll probably glance away once in a while, like now, because um, I'm not used to it. It's been a while and um, you know what? It's okay to look away once in a while because if I stare at it too long, Sometimes when I'm thinking, I like to look around and whatever. So I've got Milo here next to me, you can't see him. I was gonna try to record to include like my entire body on the couch, including him, but if I have the camera too far away, the audio is gonna suck. So hopefully this is decent. I will try to be all over the place with how I've been. It's been several months now. I think the last time I uploaded a video was like October or November, so it's been several months and I have been, for the most part, spending a lot of time streaming, streaming Dota 2. I don't remember if I mentioned this uh, in a previous video before I stopped uploading, but I did try to play WoW Classic and I hated the leveling. I couldn't stand the leveling. Every single time I logged on within five minutes, I would just be like, I cannot take this anymore. I don't feel like playing. I don't want to do any of this. It just felt so tedious. So I stopped pretty early. I think I only leveled to maybe 23 or something. Like I think I was still in Dark uh, Duskwood or Red Ridge Mountain, something like that, and I just stopped. So lately though, I still always get nostalgia to play again. I would watch some old WoW videos. I would watch my own videos, whether it's like Mythic Plus, or old runs like Zulamon, whatever, and I would be like, man, I just kind of want something like an MMO again, MMORPG again, but WoW is consistently gonna let me down. I'm quite certain of it, so I just don't feel like there's a point. Right now, Dota is... Dota's okay, but I definitely think that I tend to only want to play Dota if I get to stream. And actually right now, because of the corona going around, I feel like the internet, for me, has been suffering. At least upload speeds. Download speeds, I have up to 300 megabits per second, so I don't really think it's ever dropping low enough for me to have problems with it. But since I'm trying to stream 1080p, or even 720p, sometimes my upload speed drops down to like 2 megabits per second, which is really bad, and then it really causes my stream to suffer. Like my screen looks gray, it's extremely pixelated, and I didn't realize that it was entirely my internet this whole time. I've been trying to diagnose this for about a couple days now, and it has been driving me crazy. I've spent hours trying to figure it out, changing settings constantly. I cleaned out my computer too, I took it out back and blew it out and everything, and uh, no, no good. I even called Cox, which is my internet provider, not fucking dick. And I wanted to see if they could come by and check out my modem, which I did tend to forget that you don't really want strangers coming into your home. You don't want that kind of contact. So I don't think there's anything I can do about it right now. I'm gonna have to wait it out. And I'm not really sure if I wanted to keep trying to stream because I feel like if I turn it on and it looks like shit, it's gonna frustrate the hell out of me. So I might take a couple days and not even bother with streaming, which I'm totally okay with because there's times when I choose not to stream some evenings and I realize that I really love how long my evening feels. I feel like I have so much time to do a diverse set of things. I could read, I could watch a movie, I could watch two movies, I could even watch three movies, I could do my workout, I, there's just so much to do. So I'm gonna take a break from that, but I have been enjoying streaming. I bought a new mic for my computer um, last month and it's been working really well. I love the way it sounds, nice and crisp and clear. I bought a new webcam also, so I would have a camera on me and then one on Riley when she's resting on place while I stream. So that's that. In regards to Corona, I have been working from home starting about um, a week and a half, I think. 
and it's been good. I mean, I like working from home. That's something that I've always really wanted. So I'm really glad for that. But at the same time, I was kind of disappointed with my company because I feel like they waited until the county or the state decided to do something about it before they allowed you to work from home. Like they really wanted everybody to continue doing stuff so they wouldn't lose their money. And I obviously disagree with that because nobody in America were taking precautions even though there were cases already and we were just trying to go about our day as usual, not wanting to change anything. So I actually emailed my manager a few days, more like a week before the company decided to let us work from home. And I told him that I don't feel comfortable coming into the office because some people could be asymptomatic and they wouldn't know they have it and they could be spreading it to people in the office. And our company was greedy in not doing the work from home initiative earlier and I just every time I was walking around the office I was like what the hell are we doing like we're just not taking it seriously and I didn't like that notion so I asked him if I could work from home originally he said yeah just by the end of this week and then come in on Monday but Sunday night he texted me saying that if you don't feel comfortable coming in you can work from home tomorrow and I was like oh okay then he changed your mind because when I talked to him in person about it I went to his office and I was saying how like what is the company's stance on this because we need to be exercising prevention we need to kind of distance ourselves from everybody why are we still coming into the office and he had the mindset that oh it's not that serious it's not that big a deal he thinks it's gonna die down soon and uh, I think he was just one of those people that wasn't viewing it as an actual thing that we needed to address so that difference of opinion made it difficult to talk to him about it but i'm kind of glad that we're going through this right now based on an email from my company though i think they said work from home until march 31st but i really hope they extend that because march 31st is i think six days away which is not a lot of time and definitely not enough time for us to have this subsided i feel like this is going to take at least a month and I don't even think the United States cases have all been realized yet because testing here sucks ass and you probably can't get tested unless you're nearly dying. So there's probably a lot of people untested, a lot of people still trying to go about their day as normal. I'm sure there's plenty of people that are going out and about not wanting to listen because nothing is, nothing is forcing them to stay home. It's just like, hey guys, we're gonna close down the non-essential businesses and we advise you to stay at home but nothing is physically keeping us in so if i wanted to i could just go out and just spend my day as normal i can go to the supermarket i'm guessing movie theaters aren't really open anymore and i could just do whatever the nice thing about all of this and what i'm really happy about is that i'm naturally an introvert right so this directive to stay at home doesn't really affect me not much at all and uh Sorry, my landlord is outside my house, so she kind of walked by the window and I'm a little distracted. I didn't realize she was coming here. She's helping me clean up the weeds that got really bad around my house, which is really nice of her to do that because I think if she didn't, maybe I would have to spend money hiring somebody or she might have to, so she's doing the work herself. But yeah, I didn't realize she would be here. So I went outside to grab the tripod to record this now and I saw her, I was like, oh, what the hell? What are you doing here? Oh, I got my hair done. <laughs> Maybe people would have noticed up till now. I originally, all right, my stance on this maybe a year ago was like, you know what, coloring your hair is so tedious. When you go to the salon, this took four hours. But anyways, going to the salon, you sit there, it's boring, you sit there for hours, and also it's expensive and um, damaging your hair. And I was thinking, you know what? I don't need to do any of this stuff anymore. I don't care about my appearance anymore. I'm just gonna look like a hobo all the time. But lately I have felt again motivated to dress nicer and um, kind of comes at a bad time since we're not really able to go out anymore right now, but at least I have a few pieces and I feel like I might still be motivated to at least have some nicer things to wear because I do like looking nice. So if I'm always wearing active wear like all day, every day, I just feel like I'm kind of suppressing a natural interest 
that I have in fashion and I don't really want to do that. So I do feel stupid though because I sold a lot of pieces that I liked for a loss in money, obviously, but uh, mistakes and you kind of learn. But back to my hair, um, I originally wanted to get it colored after I grew out my hair. I kind of want my hair down to like boob level. That I don't really need it any longer than that. I just like long wavy hair. I like it curled. It, I think it looks nice when it's long, but um, it takes forever. I cut my hair over to here, October of 2018, and it has only gotten to down here till now. And part of it is because I've been getting trims. Some trims have taken off more than I would like, but at the same time, I have to take care to keep my hair healthy. So I have to do regular trims and now I'm trying to do something else where I want to do better hair care because for some reason hair has always been something that I have sacrificed when it turns to taking care of it with the right products. So I started using drugstore products again maybe two years ago because I was like why am I spending this much on a shampoo bottle? Let me just go back to drugstore and I was like oh that's not I'm not going to notice much of a difference but I spend a lot of money for skincare so I was thinking why would I not do the same for my hair because hair is important too like I don't want just dry brittle ugly dry hair I want it to be nice and moisturized and soft and I do think part of that is also that I shower every day namely I wash my hair every day that was something that I did ever since I was a kid and teenager and I just like the feeling of your scalp being nice and clean and I do have oily hair too but I think part of that is also because I am stripping the oils from my hair by shampooing a lot so I have been trying this for maybe like it's only been a week I think but I'm trying to shower every other day and if the oils in my hair and if I find a good enough dry shampoo that will keep my hair feeling nice and clean I could try to space that out even more so for now, I'm just doing every other day showering. Today is a non-shower day. For those of you that don't know what dry shampoo is, it's just shampoo that you don't need to use with water, I believe. <laughs> I hope that definition is correct. But basically, it's for use in this case where it can be like a powder form or it could be sprayed on. And basically, you try to spray your roots around your scalp and it should absorb the oil. It'll leave your hair feeling more light and cleaner than like if it was just super oily. I really don't like that look. It feels really terrible in my opinion. So uh, I think the one that I bought previously doesn't work that well because I use it and maybe it does look a little bit more uh, not as oily, but it still doesn't feel the way I want it to. I feel like if it's like heavy and it weighs down, which is what tends to happen when your hair gets oily, I don't like that feeling, even if appearance wise, it looks acceptable. So I bought another one that should be arriving in a couple days and I'm kind of eager to try that out because I haven't exercised yet today, so I still have to and my head does get oily. Naturally for me, I don't tend to sweat very much, but my head is probably guaranteed always gonna be like, perspirating as I exercise. So having the right proper dry shampoo for this showering less thing is gonna be very important. I don't think I have anything else to say, but I will say this. I will try my best to do somewhat regular videos again. And I know that I said I was gonna do the LA trip, but that got canceled because of all of this. That was supposed to be just last week so wow this stuff has been going on for a while and I mean true lockdown situation of like non-essential businesses that has only been going on for about a week and I didn't realize that I'm touching my face a lot I think it's really hard for me not to I'm at least trying to wash my hands more and wash it for a longer duration and all of that um, I tried to stock up on some supplies, but I'm honestly not as concerned as other people. I think that's something that I'm kind of surprised about myself because other people seem like they are more panicked about this whole situation. And I am taking it seriously, but I also don't want to be that person who is so obsessed with 
stocking up on supplies like for example toilet paper is sold out everywhere right and I think paper towels might be also so I am not concerned about that I also live by myself I find that super fortunate for all of this going on I don't come into contact with anybody unless I choose to and I love that I love that about my life so I have that I have like five rolls of toilet paper left and if I am better at being more conservative with it I think that should last me a decent amount so I'm not that concerned I did go grocery shopping yesterday um, unfortunately they're not delivering groceries right now which is kind of it's annoying it's bothersome I don't want to go out to buy groceries even if there's no virus I don't want to go out to buy groceries but I kind of have to um, I might still order food once in a while because I I, will, I wouldn't want to cook every single day that's just not like me I would find that a little difficult so anyways um, if I find more things to talk about I'll try to record it more often I'll keep the camera around honestly me just pulling out the camera and charging the battery has felt really nice because I've been taking more pictures I've been recording more videos and all of that I'll probably try to upload this one as soon as possible though actually who knows how long it's gonna take because my upload speed is really shit right now and this is a 4k video it's gonna take like two days it used to take like seven to eight hours for a 30 minute video this is gonna take forever I think that's all I have for now and uh, maybe if I do anything interesting throughout the day or if I have some thoughts I'll try to take it out and record it so I hope everyone's been safe I hope you're enjoying your time at home I hope it's not um, that difficult or torturous for you and try to make sure you practice good hygiene all right goodbye